Hey guys, Pizza here. In this video, we'll have a quick look at Thor Debuffer in White Star Airship. If you have a physical main ID and want to play as DPS Thor, just adjust the items accordingly. And now, let's get into it. First, we'll just talk about the key skills that we will need. For his core, you just need level 4 for this build, so you can use the non-channeling skills while using skills that are channeling, which we will explain more later on. The first key skill is Lightning Cling, which pulls enemies within 5 meters toward the center. This skill prevents the mobs from scattering and puts them in one place, so your DPS can kill them faster. As for Sustain, Holy Resonance, which is a channeling skill that restores 10% of max HP and SP per second, and also reduces the cooldown of all job skills by 2 seconds, which you can use as a combo with Lightning Cling. The idea is, use Cling to pull the mobs, and then use Holy Resonance to lower the cooldown of Cling, so you can use it again. Just time it properly so you can spam your other attack skills as well, which we will need to activate the debuffs from our headgears. Trial of Storm, which can be useful if it's Harong Affix. Just equip Stun Mouth or Tail to cancel the explosion of Harong. As for Ultra Lightning, no need to tap again to dash to Mjolnir's location. Because of this one, when Mjolnir is on the ground, it deals damage per second to enemies within 4 meter radius. This is so we can consistently apply the debuffs. As for Rolling Thunder, you can use it if ever the two non-channeling skills are on cooldown. You can tap it again anyways to cancel the skill. And lastly, Storm Barrier for Defensive Skill, which absorbs damage equal to 30% max HP, and with its passive skill, Elemental Sense, which converts all damage taken to Wind Element. Now for stat allocation, first put some in Dex, just enough to reach 500 hit, then max out Vit for more HP since this build is on Utility side, just a safety precaution to lessen the Resurrection count. And then I maxed out Luck because of his passive skill, Hypercharge which deals HP loss whenever Thor deals wind damage to enemies. Or it's up to you if you want to put it in STR to boost the damage by a bit. As for Rune Placement, the only rune to avoid is the high first line of Dusk Finale rune, which increases the casting time of the enemies, which is not advisable especially for Tau Gunka because it will take time for him to use Fallen Stone again. For Arcane Rune, I equipped Cunning and Indestructible for survivability, and then Bloody Rune to boost the HP loss. For Equipments, since we are playing as Utility Debuffer, my Armor, Garment, Shoes, and Weapon have Resistant Chance, just to achieve 100% Stun, Freeze, and Poison Resists to counter Poison Affix. And as for Bunny Slipper, it's for cooldown reduction combo with Arcane Codex, which I also use in my other utility jobs for Airship. Pouring Sleepy Hat, just so you won't die if ever Anti-Fatal is on cooldown, must be inlaid with Nightmare Card, so the sleep won't proc. Meow Wave, to increase damage receive of MVP by 5%, other option is unexpected damage. For back gear, I'm just using this for cooldown reduction, since I don't have Chicken Axe yet to increase damage receive of MVP by 10%. The mouth is Magic Firewood for burn, and then Sweet Bee Tail for 3% damage reduction for the MVP. For shadow equipment, just equip all utility set for survivability, and chosen armor for fear immunity, since some mobs have fear skill. Now for the airship run, the MVPs for this week are Garm, Poitata, Tau Gunka, and then Witch of Calamity, and then the affix is Stick 2 and Trample. Before starting, make sure to consume 6 pieces of anti-fatal food and meal bees. Lightning Power is only optional since we are only playing as Utility Debuffer. Always remember to use Storm Barrier for your defensive skill. Use Cling as soon as the MVP lands, to pull them in one spot, and then use your attack skills to attach the damage reduction debuffs to the MVPs. By the way, if you are going to use Cling, make sure to pull the mobs inside your Saints Magnus to make it easier for them to convert it to dark. For Garm's Shard, use Trial of Storm to destroy it and prevent him from regenerating. As for Poitata, since we are in a utility role, help pick up the dry skin. Spam tap it until the dry skin disappears to make the MVP more vulnerable, so your DPS can kill it faster. Play around with your skills to make sure that the mobs are always debuffed.
And then when Sting spawns, usually Thor is the one to go and kill it, because the skills of other classes are more needed for killing the MVP. For the third wave, since the MVP is Tau Gunka, just use Kling once to pull both of the MVPs, then spam your attack skills for the debuff. Avoid spamming Kling on Tau Gunka so that his skill rotation won't bug and still use Falling Stone, which is what he needs to use, so you can burst him for a couple of seconds. And then by chance, just in case Tau Gunka's skill rotation got bugged, you can use Kling to move him just by a pixel to somehow reset his skills, so he can be damaged again when he uses Fallen Stone. Or if a monster got bugged and it doesn't receive damage, try using Kling to move it and see if it the bug is gone. After the third wave MVPs, run at the front and then use Kling at the center of the mobs to pull them together, so your DPS can kill them faster. And that's all for this video guys. Don't forget to like or subscribe to stay tuned for more of our airship series, featuring utility classes. See you again next time and thank you for watching.